Hi everybody, it's Michelle and this week I want to talk to you about your why. So not your why do you want to make change, but your why are you here in the first place. So why do we stay in unhealthy relationships? Why do we stay in jobs that we hate? Why do we eat foods that don't make us feel good? We keep doing it over and over and over again. And why do I sit on the couch resting when I should be cleaning that dust? All right? So this all came into fruition, these thoughts, last week or a couple weeks ago, sorry, when we had a guest speaker come and speak to a group that I uh, work for. And they were talking about how they go in and work with people who are trying to quit smoking. And one thing she said, she realized that she was approaching the situation wrong. So rather than telling them why they should quit or finding out why um, they want to quit, she decided to look at, well, why do you smoke? And the reason surprised her. There was everything from, well, I don't want to get fat to things like, I don't want to hit my kids. So the answers were up and down and all over the place but this really made me think you know there's always a reason why we engage in behaviors that may not serve us and it's not laziness like diet culture would want us to believe it's something super compelling and it's going to be different for all of us and the question is to think what are we getting from this relationship whether it be with food or uh, our employment or a person that we're with, there's always something that we're getting out of it. So when it comes to food, you know, think about what keeps you stuck and what is it, you know, that makes you choose certain foods that still don't make you feel that great. You know, you've, you've heard that you probably shouldn't have these foods or um, you may have heard that, you know, they can jeopardize your health or whatever, but yet we still choose them. And so I want you to think about why, okay? So self-help books and all of these people working with you, even myself, I spent a lot of time talking about why do you want to change? But I'd like to know why you're there in the first place. Because why we want to change has to be bigger than why we're doing it in the first place. So, for example, sitting on the couch relaxing is bigger and more important to me than cleaning the dust. So, thing that might initiate me to go and clean the dust might be, for example, knowing that I have a visitor coming and I care about my house and how it looks. So until that happens, the dust may not get cleaned up and dusted. So think about that with your food choices and think about what's your why. Why, um, why are you choosing these foods that may not be making you feel great and what's keeping you where you are? Maybe it's fatigue, okay? Maybe you're tired, maybe it's stress. Maybe it's confusion, but I don't know what to eat, so I'm just going to eat this. Um, maybe it's the comfort that the food gives you. It makes you feel good. Or perhaps you've had some trauma in your life, and this food's a comfort for you. Or maybe you just plain really, really like the food. You enjoy it, okay? That's a great reason to keep eating it. So knowing your why is just as important as knowing why you want to change, all right? Because once you know what's keeping you where you are, then you're able to come up with a reason, potentially, maybe not, that is going to help you get where you want to be. So I often think about, you know, smokers. And, and I used to be a smoker for many years, shock and awe. Um, and for me, I could only quit when it became important to me and, and not because everybody else was telling me. And I knew why I was smoking and once my reason to stop became bigger than that, it was easy, easy. So it's really important for us to look at ourselves and why we're here 
And, you know, just be compassionate with ourselves. So maybe it's not time for change. Maybe it's time to just relax and look at the dust. And that's okay. But once you are ready, know that that change is absolutely possible. And, you know, you can, you can do whatever you like. So I hope everybody's having a good day. You're not all melting like I am. And um, we will talk to you again soon.